Konnichiwa, and welcome to the 207th podcast of the NC Rowan County Anime Group. My name is Robert Clown. I'm co-president of this club. Last Monday, we had some very terrible storms uh, went through Rowan County, and it knocked out a lot of power poles and stuff, and we now just recently started getting uh, the electricity set, getting it reset over here and uh, where I'm at, because uh, I didn't have any power uh uh, Monday night lost it during the storm and that's what's been going on with me now I've been watching an anime and this is the first series of Full Metal Alchemist I'm going through the first 25 episodes of season 1 of the original Full Metal Alchemist recommended age for that would be 14 up so far that's what I feel like that's the way that anime is I hadn't seen anything that would justify open the age limit on that anime and by the way, you can check out Full Metal Alchemist uh, Season 1 free out of the Rowan Public Library as soon as I return the DVD box set. I've also been busy trying to find new sources of information on the internet about anime and J-pop. Now, there is a problem that runs in with that. Uh, you have to be careful about getting accurate information. I have at times made mistakes and thought, well, this was accurate information and found out, no, I was wrong, I was mistaken, it wasn't accurate. So that does happen quite a bit, and I can understand why people, um, teachers especially, go and they ask their students to make sure that you're, re you're doubling your research, have more than just one source of information. Also too, I do want to take the time to thank uh, Brent Newhall. I recently watched an Otaku No video, um, Otaku, a show is called Otaku, and he mentioned me uh, when we were talking about should anime be entertainment or and not uh, psychoanalyze it? It's very easy to go and take something that you enjoy and it's supposed to be that you're supposed to enjoy it. You're not supposed to always take the time and psychoanalyze it. Take for example, let's say you had a very bad day at work. You don't want to go home and, uh, and, hit, and you want to forget that you had a very rough day. So you put your anime in and you watch it and you take for a little bit of time to ease your mind. And it should be entertainment. Now, there is times in anime, and I will tell you this right off the bat, that anime does have real people in it that have appeared in history and real uh, places. Take, for example, Akihabara was mentioned in the uh, anime series Genshiken. Now, uh, it's also called Electric uh, City, and that is a real place in Japan. So, I'm not telling you exactly where in the episode that it was mentioned, but when you watch Genshin, you will find that reference there. Uh, Sendai was also mentioned in Sucker Wars, the TV series. So, you know, that place also, too, was very real. Now, uh, outside of that, uh, the new resources that I did find at least, you know, told me about the Akari Under the Bridge uh, live-action movie and also, too, that Silver Moon was celebrating its 20th anniversary this year. So, I'm about at the end of my rope, so our next meeting will be uh, April the 16th. Meet us in front of the Books a Million store in Salisbury, North Carolina at 5 o'clock at 5.30. We'll go over to a person's home to watch Beck the Mongolian Chop Squad. May 7th is Free Comic Book Day. We will be at the Comic Mon store from 11 to 6. We are begging, please, cross-players, come out and support this event. It's a great time to cross-play, and we'd love to see you in costume. We might also be doing some podcasting at this event, because uh, it'll be our first time doing this. Also, too, this month here in April is uh, marks our one-year anniversary since we started bot podcasting. Um, thought I'd better throw that in there, too. Now... May 14th, we're hopefully going to be getting a place at um, the city park. Uh, Tim Will was supposed to be working on that, and we're going to be celebrating Asian Heritage Month. We're going to be eating Japanese food and um, hopefully get some kite flying. I've been wanting to fly a kite for quite a long time, and that's kind of a bit of a Japanese tradition over there in Japan. They do fly kites. Um, May 19th, meet us in front of the Books a Million store again at 5 o'clock at 5.30. We're going to watch Title Line Blue that was put out by Bendai Entertainment. In June, uh, one of our members is supposed to be bringing his favorite anime, and, is, and he gets to pick out whichever one he wants to show us that is his favorite. Now, in July, 
our member JR is going to be picking out his favorite anime. And I'm also hoping by that time I will have information about Bakaloria, the Japanese culture festival, um, by that time. And we may can go down there to, and take a group down there for a field trip. Now, in, I believe it's August, we're supposed to be having a display at the Rowan Public Library. Yes, it is August. And, and in September, we're going to be once again at the Salisbury Mall uh, for a Salisbury Mall Community Day. Well, this is it for now, and I wish you a very good day. Goodbye.